Well, the Taliban has taken control of Afghanistan. U.S. officials stunned by the speed by which the Taliban fighters were able to capture the capital of Kabul. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Evan Forrester. As thousands are evacuating Afghanistan, Fox 43's Harry Lee talks to local veterans looking back on the 20-year war. In 2010, an American armored vehicle tumbled down a ravine in Afghanistan. An Afghani interpreter who went by Joe ran to help. So this, this Afghani who, uh, who put himself in danger firstly by even assisting the United States was the first person down helping out soldiers. As the Taliban retakes control of Afghanistan, Marines and Army veteran Tom Bork wonders what happened to Joe. The last couple of evenings, you know, as I'm sitting there watching this on the news, uh, you know, I think about what these folks, you, you know, is, is the Taliban in their villages? Is somebody pointing out uh, the, their home as, as the one who collaborated with the Americans? Guilt, an emotion shared by many Afghanistan veterans, as well as anger and heartache. I think we ought to be concerned, frankly, about our veterans. There's an impact on, on our hearts and our souls, you know, to see something evaporate so quickly that we worked so hard to build. The 20-year war cost more than 2,300 American lives and an estimated $2.2 trillion. But veterans say Afghanis will pay more dearly in the rights lost under a strict Taliban rule. It's not a loss for us. It's a loss for them. And that's the tragedy. It's a stark difference from 20 years ago when U.S. troops invaded the country hoping to bring democracy. That's what, what hurts the most. We believed in the mission. The Afghanis believed in us. And, you know, we weren't there to deliver on it in the end. If you're a veteran and need support, Angel suggests reaching out to your local VFW. In Newberry Township, York County, Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.